Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check out your other placements for additional messages as this is a general reading message that may or may not apply. Just think what resonates and leave what doesn't for the next person. I can be picking up on someone around you or someone you could be dealing with so you might have to swap the roles. If this reading doesn't resonate right away, it may be something that happens down the line. If you'd like, you can keep this in your back pocket or you can come back at a later time. We're going to take a look and see what messages need to come through for you guys for this week. See what you guys could be currently dealing with or what you can expect. Get some insight with some guidance and overall see what's going on. I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys are interested, you can check out my Instagram at jstonetarot. And with that being said, let's get right into this reading. Starting off with some animal oracle messages for Aquarius, summarizing Venus for this week. I did hear Capricorn. So some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. Or some of you may have Capricorn in your chart. Um, any messages for Aquarius, summarizing Venus, Venus <laughs> for this week? Any messages for, mm, I want to call you Capricorn, <laughs> Aquarius, summarizing Venus for this week. Alright, messages for Aquarius, summarizing Venus for this week. Any messages please, insight, wisdom, guidance for Aquarius, summarizing Venus. Any messages for Aquarius, oh, okay, we have the lizard, we have the lion. Lizards come out for... Pisces and Scorpio, the lion and the firefly. Okay, this is making sense. Vulture is at the bottom, so you may need to do a little bit of cleansing, a little bit of releasing. We do have lots of mm, retrogrades going on. We have Pluto retrograde going on for the next six months. We also have Mercury retrograde. We're in the pre shadow effect, it goes retrograde at the end of the month, so there's going to be a lot of like energy of reflecting, purging, releasing, surrendering, reflecting, I already said reflecting, you get me, so it's kind of like the theme's gonna go on for like the next month or so, so just be aware of that. So we have fire coming out as well as air, your energy coming through. So basically, first of all with the lizard, the lizard is the energy of you guys being very spiritual. This is the energy of knowing before something happens. This is the energy of you guys being extremely intuitive. That sixth sense energy, seeing before something happens, knowing. It's great. It's helpful. But it can also be draining. It can be exhausting if we don't take the time out to rest or to spend some time going inward and taking care of ourselves. Sometimes this can become sensory overload and we just get so exhausted. Uh, so needing to take the time out to rest this week to recharge your battery. This energy can sometimes result in a bit of flakiness, okay? Starting and stopping many projects, which kind of ties in with the firefly, right? You may get sudden inspiration to try something or to do something and then you go to do it and then 10 minutes into the idea and then you just lose inspiration or you're just not feeling it anymore. And so you may end up starting and stopping, starting and stopping many things. And then that can lead to burnout and frustration and kind of feeling stuck and feeling like at a roadblock, creative's block, right? Just hitting a stump, hitting a wall and just feeling like you have no inspiration. You don't know what to do. And it can get frustrating. It can get really discouraging too. When you're feeling that way and you may be feeling that this week or just having moments like that, it may not last for very long. Um, it may just come in waves. I'm kind of feeling that just to surrender to it. If something's not working, just take a break, take a step back and try again later. Try again tomorrow or try again when you're in the right energy for it. It's okay. doesn't mean that you're a failure. doesn't mean that you're not good enough or that you'll never get back to that, that place of feeling inspired and excited about the work that you're putting out. Sometimes we go through these moments and there's like lessons that we can take from it or there's like it's happening for a reason to maybe redirect us onto a different path, things like that. There's always a bigger picture that we just don't see right here, right now. But later on, things unfold. Anyway, so with the lizard coming out, just take time out. Some of you have been blending in. It's time to stand out or maybe it's time to switch some things up or shake things up a little bit. I was saying that to Gemini. Some of you may have Gemini placements in your chart, you know, switching some things up, spicing things up and having a little bit more fun, a little bit more playfulness, a little bit more creativity. Um, and then of course this talks about, you know, needing to take time out to rest, especially if you have been working a lot on yourself spiritually, your spiritual gifts, or you've been going through maybe even upgrades or it's just been a lot, been very intense on you lately and it's just needing to take a break and just rest, recharge, get plenty of sleep, get outside, do some grounding, walk on the ground barefoot. I did that the other day um, and oh my god, it just felt so good. So just 
I highly recommend if you've been feeling a little bit drained or a little bit exhausted or just energies depleted spiritually you're just like oh I can't even hear my intuition <sighs> cut some time out for you this week calm the mind do some meditations really ground yourself um it will really help like realign, reground, recenter you, okay? Um, you have some really good ideas that are coming up or you may get lots of inspiration to start many things. Try to stick to a couple little things. Don't go too crazy, otherwise you're gonna start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Just kind of brainstorm, brainstorm and maybe even write down your ideas. Cause you know, with this firefly energy coming through, you may get a lot of downloads or lots of ideas that start flooding your mind. And sometimes we can forget them. So if that's the case, you might just want to like write down your ideas um, and be more organized. I think organization could really help benefit you. And then with the line out here, this talks about like your strength and your persistence and your dedication. You're very skilled at what it is that you do. You're very respected. There's lots of eyes on you. You might be receiving a lot more attention, kind of getting star energy from this. We'll see if it comes out when we pull some tarot messages. Um, you seem very serious, almost a little too serious. And so, especially when this comes to creative outlets or through some sort of art, you know, maybe you're an artist, but you've been way too serious or it's all about rules, but in art, there shouldn't be rules, right? <laughs> Maybe remove some of those self-inflicted rules that you put on yourself. Well, I can't use this color because this or this. It's like, why not? If you like that color, fucking use it in your piece of work. You know, oh, well, I do portrait painting. I'm not going to paint their skin blue. Well, why not? Do it. Try it out. It might turn out amazing. You know, like whatever restrictions or limitations that you've been putting on yourself, it might be limiting your creativity um, for my artists out there. You know, any type of way of where you're expressing yourself or putting your own unique twist to it. Maybe you're needing to loosen up a little bit or play a little bit, have more fun, get them creative juices flowing because you might just create something amazing. Um, every piece of work, every song that you hear, every book, every painting, every piece of art out there, the firefly energy is what's behind it. This idea that comes to mind, it could stay an idea or you could turn it into something physical. I was saying that to Virgo. It's like turning something that's in your mind into something physical, right? So you got this idea. Well, I want to create this. I want to bring this to fruition. Oh, but I can't. Or, oh, I put this restriction on me. I put this, um, this rule. Oh, well, I can't do this because of that. What if you can? What if you can and you do and then it turns out amazing? Some of you just need to lift these limitations you put on yourself. All right? Or you just give it a try. Take some time out to rest. Um, the lion is also someone who, you know, they keep their circle small. A lot of people know about them, but not many know the lion intimately like there's only a few select people in your life that know the real rawest version of you right it's the energy of you guys keeping your circle small very careful of who and what you give your energy to but yeah it's like you have some really good ideas or expect this week to feel a lot of inspiration especially if you've been struggling i think there's going to be a lot of doors opening up for you guys very soon so just get ready get your pen and paper ready to jot down notes or your ideas or just start brainstorming and have fun with it and let those ideas flow and don't think about the how or the when or if i was saying this to a couple signs i was like it already is it's just a matter of when. Don't worry about that. Just focus on what are you going to do to get there? What steps do you have to take to get there? You will get there. It may take time. It's going to require a lot of hard work, dedication, but it's already yours. And what's truly meant for you will never pass you by. Just remember that. And it's funny because we actually have the Ace of Wands at the very top of the deck. So your idea is going to be fluent, Aquarius. Take advantage of this energy. Let's see what tarot messages need to come out for Aquarius, Summer Nights, and Venus for the week. Any messages for Aquarius, please? Aquarius, Summer Nights, and Venus for this week coming up. What's going on for my Aquarius? Any insight, wisdom, guidance for Aquarius, Summer Nights, and Venus for this week? Any messages for Aquarius, Summer Nights, and Venus for this week coming up? What's going on for Aqua, Summer Nights, and Venus? <clears throat> 
one more okay messages for aquarius summer rising venus for this week hangman try to come out maybe you're needing to change your perspective on something or surrender messages for aquarius summer rising venus for this week we have the page of swords a new idea a new mindset a breakthrough crossing the t's dot in the i some of you could be signing contracts um we are in the pre-shadow of mercury retrograde of course they always suggest don't sign contracts during mercury retrograde we're in the pre-shadow so you're kind of in the safe zone for now but just make sure you read the fine print and maybe try to steer clear from buying electronics around this time just hold off if you're going to buy electronics do it now before Mercury goes retrograde, okay? So you got to the end of the month. I think it goes retrograde officially on like the 30th. And I'm just saying that's because normally when you buy some sort of electronic or even, you know, traveling or documents, there's always like some sort of delay or issues that you might be dealing with. Let me tell you, I bought my laptop during Mercury retrograde a few years back. And I'm telling you, it's given me many, many problems. I've kind of been in the clear for a while. Cross my fingers that it stays like that. <laughs> I'm just trying to save you guys. Just hold off. If you're making a purchase or you're thinking about it, oh, maybe I should go at the end of the month and get that new car. It's like, just wait. Just wait. Okay? <laughs> trust me. It's going to give you a lot of issues if you just trust me. Okay? I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> okay. Messages for Aquarius. Someone I see Venus for this week coming up. The Empress is coming out. So this idea, these little inspirational moments where you're feeling inspired or motivated is going to take you to some really good places messages for aquarius summarizing venus for this week we, we have judgment coming out messages for aquarius and the four of swords bottom of the deck three of wands queen of swords eight of wands okay So basically, basically what I'm getting, beginning of the month, oh shit, well, this is not a monthly reading, sorry. Oh, well, it may apply for this rest of the month, right? We're in the middle of May, so this may resonate for the remainder. Who knows, right? I don't know your situation. Time is fluid. It doesn't really matter whenever you come across this. It's like maybe the energy right now, you guys are resting a lot, doing a lot of reflection, gaining your energy, but also there's some things on your mind. Like I said, there's a lot of reflective energy going on. We have lots of retrograde energy. And it can be a lot. It can be intense, right? Overload. Sensory overload, especially for those that are very in tune with themselves and their intuition and messages and things like that. You might be traveling a lot of messages. Um, You know, even when you're going to sleep, sometimes there's just a lot coming through. It can be super draining or exhausting, right? <sighs> they need to just take some time out for you to rest, recharge your battery. But there is a lot of like judgment energy, looking back at some things from your past, needing to have compassion towards yourself, your younger self especially, um, looking back at certain lessons that you've gone through and needing to apply the wisdom that you've gained to situation you're dealing with now and moving forward i apologize i'm kind of getting stuffed up all of a sudden up ugh, and applying that wisdom to whatever it is that you're going through now and what's yet to come also i'm just noticing she's holding a golden egg in this card right so your ideas are golden it's almost like as if you had this idea but you never pursued it in the past Maybe you were hesitant too, or maybe you were told that these ideas weren't realistic or it was a bad idea. Maybe you held off on something, right? Because there's like a little pegasus in the corner. And so maybe you had a lot of naysayers or people's opinions whispering in your ear saying, oh, that's a horrible idea. Don't do that. Stay safe. Stay with what you're already doing. Don't make that risk. And so maybe you listened to what others were saying instead of following your own gut, following your own path, right? Anyways, it's like you guys could be reflecting back to certain ideas or things that you wish to pursue back in the past, but now it's like you're giving it a chance. And if you give it a chance, right, you got these ideas, page of swords, new ideas. This can also talk about a message, but I'm getting more of just like energy of thinking, like a new way of seeing, a new perspective, and having some sort of breakthrough on this new idea. 
Except it's not, if some of you is not new, some of you are building on top of that idea that you already had. Maybe you tried, it didn't work out, but you're giving it another chance. That's for some of you. For some, this is just a brand new idea, but this idea will bring you to a very successful place. Lots of growth, lots of opportunity to expand, especially with um, Jupiter being in Pisces, right? This is the opportunity for us to build and expand and to grow and our manifestations to really take off, okay, before it goes retrograde into Aquarius, your sign, um, end of June. So it's kind of giving us a taste of what the end of the year will be like when it moves back into Pisces. It's just saying. Anyways, um, this is also talking about you guys needing to nurture your ideas. Like I said, in this judgment energy, she's holding a golden egg. So something is developing, something's growing, but it's not yet ready to be hatched. Right? Even with this Empress energy, you're pregnant with an idea, but you're not quite ready to give birth to this. It's still in the developing stages. You're still getting your thoughts straight or getting your ideas straight, brainstorming. Um, you know, like I was saying, crossing the T, dotting the I's, things like that. And even with that Three of Wands energy, very early stage. There's so much that's yet to be done. You're just getting your ideas straight and you're kind of envisioning what you want your future to look like. You're, you have this pinpoint target, but you're broadening your perspective. Instead of having a narrow perspective and only seeing what you are setting your target, you're looking at all the possibilities of what it could be and making it happen. Making any adjustments necessary. And then with the discipline, and putting in the work and not slacking, not half-assing, but putting in the effort, the solid effort with the clear perspective that you have. Literally, it starts off as an idea page of sorts, and then you start thinking about it, building on it, putting in the effort, you know, early stages, early stages, but you're getting somewhere. You level up from the page to the queen. That's really good. That is super good, all right? And then, once you start taking on that Queen of Swords mode, taking your goals a little bit more seriously, starting to put in a little bit more effort, being more consistent after, like I said, resting and recharging because some of you have been overload, right? Make sure you're in the right energy before taking action, right? Gaining up the rest, gaining up the stamina, getting stronger before you go on that race, right? And then you're taking action, you're flying forward and things are going to get off the ground okay so that's kind of like the storyline i'm seeing it's like it starts off with you guys resting recharging your battery getting stronger doing a little bit of reflection of past situations and lessons and things like that a little bit of reflective energy there's something that you're thinking about you're contemplating it's in the early stages it's developing you're needing to nurture this idea and give it a lot of like nutrients and energy and taking care of the fine print then you're getting closer to actually making this take off the ground, getting closer to your goals, and then using the discipline and the skills and the clear perspective and the creativity to make this happen, right? So that's basically the read. It's like beginning of the reading, right? So whenever you come across this, you might be feeling a little bit drained, maybe a little lethargic. You need to take care of yourself, rest, get your ideas straight, then you can follow through with your action and it's gonna take off, right? So it's all about gaining that momentum, okay? Let's see, let's get some Takashi messages for Aquarius, Summer, Nice, and Venus. For this week, any messages for Aquarius, please? Any Takashi messages for Aquarius, Summer, Nice, and Venus? We have Taurus energy as well as Libra coming out. Lots of air actually coming through in this reading and I'm not taking any of these just because it's a whole stack. Um, yeah, so this reading is basically air, fire, and like a little sprinkle of earth with Empress coming out. Okay, so ground yourself in your ideas, but yet stay flexible and open-minded to the possibilities. Take time to rest, get your goals, ideas straight, so that you can take that and put it into motion, right? Okay, any Takashi messages for Aquarius, Summer, Nice, and Venus regarding this reading? We have humility. Don't be afraid to fail or make mistakes. 
messages for Aquarius. We also have anticipation. Yeah, you guys are totally anticipating like what's yet to come and adventure. Beautiful. Yeah, this is gonna be an exciting time. I know right now it's kind of like the not so fun part of like doing the dirty work and crossing the T's and coming up with a plan, but then you're in the clear and you're gonna have, be all creative and enjoy and have fun. It's gonna be great. Anyways, humility. Allow an unpretentious but confident air to surround you. Live your truth lovingly. Be prepared to work in service to others without obvious personal gain. Love and enjoy that you can give and feel good about your place in the big picture. Now is not the time to rock the boat or stand on your soapbox. Anticipation. Anticipation creates a feeling of excitement. Hold the feeling of anticipation as you embark on your next course of action. Unusual occurrences may not be anticipated, but don't waste any time worrying either. Let go of expectations. They only take you out of the now moment. When you anticipate, you can enjoy the fun of the whole journey right here and now. And adventure. Enter into everything with openness and love and enjoy the adventure of living. You never know what's coming next. Right? Okay. So... Aquarius, that is what I got for you guys for this weekly reading. If you guys found this helpful or insightful, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. If you guys are interested, you can check out my Instagram at jadestonetarot. And with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.